Adani uh, group has uh, called off the FPO. It is day after it was fully subscribed. The FPO uh, has been called off. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, what we know is that uh, the FPO has been called off considering the market volatility uh, and uh, this is what the latest in fact which is coming in there were some red flags which were uh, raised and questions also uh, as far as the SEBI is concerned my colleague Priyanshi joining us at this moment Priyanshi uh, what does this mean first of all because uh, when we saw it was uh, the, the entire FPU was people were talking about it was overbooked Right, Ankit. It was over. Uh, it was subscribed fully. Yesterday was the last day, and today was the first trading day for Adani stocks. After that, FPO was fully subscribed, and now the Adani Group has called off the follow-on public offer, and they've said that this has been called off considering market volatility, and they've actually called it an unprecedented uh, market day today in the trading session. And this means that the money that investors put in in the Adani uh, Enterprises follow-on public offer that will now be refunded, uh, and the Adani Group said that we have. Uh, uh, called off the uh, follow-on public offer to protect investors from potential financial losses. And they say that since the market is currently highly volatile and there's an unprecedented situation that we're seeing in the markets right now, that's why we are we aim to protect investors' interests and that is why we've called off this follow-on public offer. Now, this was important because, as we've mentioned, that there were uh, questions after the Hindenburg report, the Adani FPO did get fully subscribed, so there were uh, questions, but now it has been called off. It was a 20,000 crore follow-on public offer, which was India's largest ever, might I add. And um, the, uh, the Adani group said that going ahead with the FPO will not be morally correct amid these extraordinary circumstances that we are seeing currently. So those are the statements uh, from the Adani press release. Yes. Uh, they also add... Uh, that our current uh, financial conditions are uh, stable and they say that we are confident of sailing through. Uh, if I uh, give you the exact numbers of this, uh, they say that our balance sheet is very healthy and our strong cash flows and secure assets and we have an impeccable track record of servicing our debt. Mm. And they say this decision will not have any impact on our existing operations and future plans as well. Okay. But it comes at a time when, Ankit, of course, the Adani uh, stocks really tanked in the market today. Adani Enterprises, in fact, lost 26%. Adani Ports was down 17%, Adani Total Gas was down 10%, Green Energy was down 5.2%, Adani Power was down 5%, hitting lower circuit, Adani Wilmar was down 5%, Transmission was down 0.8%. So all of these uh, seven Adani stocks that were mentioned in the Hindenburg report, uh, uh, alleging stock manipulation, all those stocks yes. majorly lost at the markets today. So, so does this also mean that uh, the Adani group is going to return the money uh, to, uh, to, you know, the, to the investors? Absolutely, Ankit. Uh, all those retail investors, the institutional investors, whoever has, whoever have invested money in this follow-on public offer, they'll be returned their money. That's what the press release also says. And as I mentioned, that they say that oh, we are returning this money because uh, the market conditions are currently really volatile and we mm. want to protect our investors from any potential financial losses. So that's what the Adani uh, press release says. But of course, uh, as we've mentioned, that it comes after uh, all of those questions that were raised uh, on the FPO considering the Hindenburg report that came out and uh, that has led to uh, this uh, complete uh, uh, tanking of the Adani stocks uh, just in today's, uh, just in the last few trading sessions, 92 billion US dollars have been wiped out yes. from Adani group stocks ever since the Hindenburg report came out. After that, this FPO really came at that time and the Adani group also mentioned that uh, the Hindenburg report is timed with the FPO to impact that, but uh, Hindenburg hit back at that saying that uh, their questions are valid and the Adani group has not answered their questions. So Amid all of that row, the FPO did sail through, get fully subscribed, but now it has been called off considering the market volatility. That's what the Adani Group says.